Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you skip ahead, just to let you know, you can actually watch the full version of this on our Patreon, and you can actually watch next week's episode a full week in advance. I mean, it's very easy. I mean, right down there in the description, or right up here in the corner. Feel free to give it a click, and we'll see you there. Oh boy. Well, you know, we got a little bit of a revelation last uh, episode with Aang, you know, finding out that, uh, unfortunately, you know, his He is the is, last airbender. Yeah. Yeah. As you stated, he is not aware of the title of the show. I mean, that, I mean, they don't really break the fourth wall in this, but if they yeah. did, I mean, I think that'd be one moment that would be justified. It's like, he, come on, man. Like, you didn't <clears throat> expect this. The name of the show is The Last Airbender. So. Come on. That's, yeah, I that's guess that is a good is. point. But is he really the last airbender? We'll see. We will see. Maybe not. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> but overall, I mean, the the whole thing with uh, with Aang and all that, I mean, having to leave the Southern Air Temple now, they're really going out into the world, and they are seeking out... They're now they're on their adventure. One of the obvious yes. choices for me, like, if I was writing a show like this, and I, when you say, is he really the last airbender, is, like, eventually, it, like... The lesson that would be revealed to everyone is like, oh, everyone can bend every element. We've just been taught that we can only do one based on like where we were born and everything. And so we're all not that different, essentially. Well, hence well, that, hence see, how the Avatar you'll unites. You'll see how, everyone, but... how that works throughout the series and how the world of bending works. And it's, it, you'll come to understand why. Like, I've heard things here and there, but I can't really remember many of them. So. Well, you'll come to understand why things are the way they are. And, you know, it's just, it really just... It all just, plays out. Yeah, it all plays out, and you'll see you'll see exactly what it what it's all about. It makes well. it a u- unique universe that I really like. I wish there was, like, an MMO of that. That would be killer. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That would be a... I remember yeah. when there was a, like, Avatar The Last Airbender video games. You remember those? They were, mm-hmm. like, character action. Oh, uh, they were all right. They, they were, were they were okay, but, yeah, I just... Yeah. Could you imagine mechanics. if they actually took it serious? Yeah. That would be like give uh it, so you said character action like give it to, um, <sighs> fuck Capcom, no, um well maybe Capcom but uh, well the team that made Devil May Cry Five I'd give it to them I'm completely spacing on the team and I want to say Team Ninja, what's the name of the game Metal Gear Rising and stuff oh like that. that's Platinum Platinum yeah give it to Platinum yeah same people yeah. who make Bayonetta yeah duh. I mean I think that'd be pretty cool yeah I mean. Yeah. I I I go to them and be like, hey, here you go, have fun with it, and they'll just and they'll give you something amazing, Pretty especially much. given what do. the benders are capable of in this. It's like uh, like I said, like I pre order. I don't don't ever pre order games, but like I pre ordered it to make sure I wouldn't spend the money before it came out. But uh, I got a donation so that I could get Astral Chain. And I was mm. like, it's Platinum, so I trust Platinum. They haven't made a bad game yet or a game I've disliked and, at all yet. And you were paid, tr- and, and you saw that it From was the right first two that. chapters, it's it's Platinum. It's Beast. Yes. So. Well, it's Platinum games, dude. I mean, yeah. they always do good work. But, okay. Um, Avatar, the last ever we are now on the episode called The Warriors of Kiyoshi. Okay. Which, uh... episode I was talking about. Yeah, it's a good episode. I like this episode. And it, it's a little awesome. You'll see. You'll see. But overall, yeah. That's Brum just... ha. <laughs> that's never going to end. We are going to keep getting that meme for our meme streams. Yeah, as long as the dust keeps coming to them, yeah. Yeah. I snapped that one out of existence, though, and I was real happy about it. <laughs> he keeps sending us the one. It's the, the Wii U music, music theme. Yep. But it, it's, it's like out. completely it's like completely frustrating because it's out of it's out of sync, out of tune, out of time, and out of time. It, it's like a complete and total shit show. Yeah. And trying to Certain listen to notes it, like just, repeat themselves and shit. Like it, it's not it's to. agonizing to listen yeah, to. It's horrible sounding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, I had the Infinity Gauntlet with me, and I'm just like, I can't take it anymore. I can't. I can't. And then Nick and then Nick uh, killed it at the same time, <laughs> and it was gone. I'm like, oh, thank God. You're like, it worked! It actually worked! Yes. <laughs> but. I was like, sorry for cutting your meme short, Dusk. I just figured it was funny, and he's like, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, we got this here. Let's give it a watch, and let's see what happens. Wah. 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 Wah.
Wow. Also, my main question for this is still just why did the Fire Nation attack? And although his air You'll see. Are great, That's answered too. Sure we will. Some cool meditation. The only reason you should be interrupting me is if you have news about the Avatar. Well, there is news, Prince Zuko, but you might not like it. Keeping a level head is a sign of a great leader. Now, whatever you have to say, I'm sure I can take it. Okay, then. We have no idea where he is. What? You really should open the window in here. <laughs> Give me the... He is clearly a master of evasive maneuvering. <laughs> you have no idea where you're going, do you? <laughs> well, I know it's near water. I guess we're getting close, then. Check out this airbending trick. That's great, Aang. You didn't even look. You need to give girls space when they do their sewing. What does me being a girl have to do with sewing? Simple. I sew. Girls are better at fixing pants than guys, and guys are better at hunting and fighting and stuff like that. It's just the natural order of things. All done with your pants? <laughs> Wait, I was just kidding. I can't wear these, Katara, please. Relax, Sokka. Where we're going, you won't need any pants. <laughs> eh? At this rate, we won't get to the North Pole until spring. But Appa's tired already. Aren't you, boy? <laughs> I said, aren't you, boy? Yeah, that was real convincing. <laughs> Still. Oh, whoa. That's why we're here. Elephant Koi. And I'm gonna ride it. Katara, you gotta watch me. A big fish. <laughs> That's a big fish. It would be kind of fun, but terrifying at the same time. Yep. No, Appa! Don't eat that! <laughs> what is he eating? Aw. He just wants to impress There's her more than anything more. else. Yep. Uh oh. Something just ate that that I'm worried. Holy crap. That's up. <laughs> yeah, the cartoon. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for the elephant koi. What was that thing? Yeah, but that's nature. I don't know. That was a reason Where to never go in the ocean ever it? again. Oh, hello. I need an adult. <laughs> if you don't answer all our questions, we're throwing you back in the water with the Unagi. Show yourselves, cowards! Who are you? Where are the men who ambushed us? There were no men. There's no way a bunch of girls took us down. A bunch of girls, huh? The Unagi's gonna eat well tonight. No, don't hurt him. He didn't mean it. My brother's just an idiot sometimes. <laughs> Kiyoshi stayed out of the war so far, and we intend to keep it that way. This island is named for Kiyoshi? I know Kiyoshi. Ha! How could you possibly? She's been dead for centuries. I know her because I'm the Avatar. That's impossible. Hey, I guess they didn't see an airbin running across the water before they captured him. <laughs> it's true. Check this out. <laughs> Jesus. The avatars on Kiyoshi Island? Uncle, ready the rhinos. He's not getting away from me this time. Are you going to finish that? I was going to save it for later. Oh. <laughs> Saka, what's your problem? Eat. Not hungry. But Aww. you're always hungry. He's just upset because a bunch of girls kicked his butt yesterday. They snuck up on me. I'm not oh, Momo's underneath the table just like <laughs> eating the <laughs> this is tasty. Mm. <laughs> this is tasty. It's nice to see you excited about being the Avatar. I just hope it doesn't all go to your head. Come on, you know me better than that. I'm just the simple monk. Lady. Mm. Lady the Avatar. That's easy enough. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> well, there's another one. <laughs> oh. Here's the Zohan! No hands! 
Sorry, ladies, didn't mean to interrupt your dance lesson. I was just looking for somewhere to get a little workout. Well, you're in the right place. Normally, I'd hold a grudge, but seeing as you guys are a bunch of girls, I'll make an exception. I should hope so. A big, strong man like you, we wouldn't stand a chance. Try to block me. Easily. <laughs> Good. Of course, I was going easy on you. Of course. Let's see if you can handle this! Pretty. Promised the girls I'd give them a ride on Appa. Why don't you come with us? It'll be fun. Watching you show off for a bunch of girls does not sound like fun. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something I really like about this place. <laughs> <laughs> What's taking you so long, Angie? Angie. Just a second, Coco. Simple monk, huh? <laughs> you just don't want to come because you're jealous. Jealous? Of what? Jealous that we're having so much fun without you. That's ridiculous. Hoping for another dance lesson? No, I... Well, I would be honored if you would teach me. Even if I'm a girl? I'm sorry if I insulted you earlier. I was wrong. But you have to follow all of our traditions. Of course. And I mean all of them. It feels a little... girly. It's a warrior's uniform. You should be proud. The silk thread symbolizes a brave <laughs> blood that flows through our veins. Hey, Saka. Nice dress. <laughs> Remember how the Unagi almost got me yesterday? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ride it now. It's gonna be real dangerous. Good for you. <laughs> Our technique is about using your opponent's force against them for an opening and then... <gasps> oh. Oh. Hmm. I fell on purpose to make you feel better. I got you. Admit I got you. <laughs> this is a terrible What's idea. Taking so yeah. Long? I'm sure Absolutely it'll be terrible. here any second. I don't mess with water and big um, creatures anyway. What about this? Uh, <laughs> not that again. Don't the only Nagi I deal with are Sorry, barbecued <laughs> on top <laughs> of <laughs> rice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure you were safe i did let all that attention go to my head i was being a jerk well get out of the water before you catch a cold you big jerk oh, no. <laughs> yep. what's up homie holy crap it's a big boy He killed all three of you. Finally. Damn. Effective. And those fans, yeah, they're good. I keep them <clears> in my ear. Yeah, keep them in his belt. Look what I brought to this place. Then let's get out of here. I know it feels wrong to run, but I think it's the only way. I'll call Appa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good shot. I treated you like a girl when I should have treated you like a warrior. I am a warrior. But I'm a girl, Ooh. too. Now get out of here. You must be blushing real hard to see you through the face paint. Right. Back 
to the ships. Don't lose sight of them. What are you doing? Wouldn't you recommend it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, that was stupid and dangerous. Yes, it was. <sighs> stupid and dangerous, but it was the right thing to do. Oh, just want to watch more. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so yeah, there we go. That's uh. That's the Warriors of Kiyoshi. So they come back later in the in well. The well, in this we're introduced here. to one of uh, to uh, you know Suki, mm -hmm. who is uh, Sokka's like first crush, crush slash girl he's interested in, and all that. <clears throat> and uh, he uh, he's like his throughout the series. He learns more about how not to judge people based upon, you know, he learns to be less prejudiced as the show. There has to be a character in the show to go through that. Sokka is probably the worst for it. Uh, he, you know, he's prejudiced in certain ways, but overall it's not hammered in there like it is nowadays. You know, because it, nowadays it seems so forced with the character. Like, the character is so cartoonishly ridiculous. Like this is a cartoon that's portraying it in a more realistic, in yeah. a realistic way. Whereas what you see in movies and TV shows nowadays is so cartoonish, it's almost it's beyond ridiculous. Well, so this makes sense from a writing perspective because he grew up in a village where the men protect the women. And, like that's pretty, uh, pretty much it. Got introduced to a culture where the women are kick ass and stuff, and so he was initially skeptical, and then realized that yeah, women can be kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> Exact mundo. Makes and, sense. Oh yeah, and honestly, man, I mean, that's to me, that's probably one of the best parts of that is just. I it, like it because it shows these characters mature. Yes. You know, through through their age, because they they are very young in this, and they they will mature all through it. And I don't know, it's really cool. Oh yeah, really a good show for uh, kids too. Yeah, and, and adults. Well, <laughs> the, I can't really think of an age range that this would not be good for. Yeah. Because that's the that's the beauty of the show. It, like, it, presents everything in such a good way to where you don't you don't feel I feel like this doesn't really have a limit as to where, who this could be exposed to and they couldn't find something about it that interests them. Because I know kids who got into this because you know you know it's got flying animals and martial arts and stuff like that but then I meet people later on who say you find out that a lot of eastern philosophies are involved in this show and it shows the differences of Eastern and Western philosophies, and also uh, there's also historical connotations because a lot of people compare the Fire Nation to the Japanese, and you know, and all this, and, all, and it, it's just really, it's really, it's really good how everything comes together in this Very show and it forms intricate show. Yeah, with lots of variety and just in culture and lifestyle, and uh, there's actually a lot of political constructs in here that are just kind of put out. Has open situations and problem solving and thinking irrationally and um, not uh, always ending stuff with violence too, which is kind of cool. That's yeah, because you see, that's always the the common thing. It's like, oh, how how do you solve this problem? Violence. Yeah. It's not always the case. Sometimes violence is is a negative on this whole There's thing. There's very few people that actually die in this show. You'll notice, but I won't say which ones. <laughs> We'll, we'll go there. We'll go there when we get there. <laughs> yep. But so far, I mean... And the so only thing I would worry about with showing it to, like, a really young kid would just be, like, the skeletons and the death and stuff that is implied there, like... That is a bit, mu a that is a bit much for, for, like, really super young. super young kids. I would say, like, TVY7 would make sense, though, like, at least if sure they're, like, seven or so, maybe. I'm not sure what's rated. rated. I think it's uh, Y or Y7. Yeah. Because like Nickelodeon still funded it, so... Well, yeah, it has to be. And they, they said on their meetings for Nickelodeon, it was super strict on there. They actually had to have like a, a whole entire like, basically like a hundred kids, and they had to come in and watch like the concept and everything, and the mm. kids had to approve of it. Yeah, like a. <laughs> 
I was like, the kids Whoa. had to approve. Yeah, the kids actually had, they went by the kids' feedback on whether damn. or not they would actually sell the show or not. So, and of course they had the parents of the kids there too, you know. And they always asked them, "Do you think this is an appropriate show for children?" And you know, of course, got nothing but positive feedback. Nice. And then, um, but that also proves that kids are a lot smarter than most adults exactly. give them credit for. I mean, yeah. you know, everybody's looking for bankable stuff, yeah. and this most of the stuff on Nickelodeon I can't get into. Yeah. Uh, Nickelodeon's never been one of my favorite cartoon channels. Well, when I was actually a kid, I really <laughs> liked a lot of stuff on it, but uh, it was mostly like their actually live action stuff that I was super yeah. into, like. Um, Legends of the Hidden Temple was my favorite oh, yeah. show. Yeah, and all then, that. Uh, Nick at Night. Yeah, all that. Um, Global. Guts, Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? Yep. Yeah. Uh, salute your shorts. We run, we love, we swim and play. <laughs> yeah. And but like, it, there were still a few cartoons I liked on it, but like, I didn't super get into cartoons until I was a teenager and saw Cartoon well, Network. Yeah. I remembered. I remembered. Certain stuff on there, uh, the Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron. Those uh, were after I stopped Danny, watching it. Danny Phantom. Also after. And this. This was, like, to a lot of people, this was their anchor show mm-hmm. for Nickelodeon. This yeah. was the show. Yeah, all of that was after I watching. switched to Cartoon Network, and I didn't look well, back after that. Well, yeah, I didn't watch it growing so. up. I actually went back to my... Um, friend of mine at the time she really wanted me to watch it and i was like i, I obviously man, i didn't I, watch it growing up either because i'm watching it now for the first four, time so. by episode four or five i was like okay i couldn't really get into this because the first I, couple episodes i didn't get into it but then i did I, train man <laughs> i've been to watch the rest of i it did i watched the entire series uh as it came out and it wasn't because of me it was because of zach zach was one who really wanted to watch it because we were both into dragon ball z and everything and uh, this was sort of a lighter version of that and had elemental stuff instead of, you know, like, beams and power levels and stuff like that. Now, Dragon Ball Z overall had a greater impact, but this, as I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate this more and more and to see just how deep it got. Yeah. But that's, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, DBZ is a whole different show. Yeah. Uh, I love my DBZ, though. Oh, I do, too. I do, too. All right, well... <sighs> We got to move on, ladies and gentlemen. We got some other stuff to get to. So uh, we hope that you all have enjoyed this. I mean, hey, we're uh, we're on the road again, and we're uh, hopefully going to be uh, hopefully going to be continuing this, uh, you know, straight on through, and uh, no delays, and no, and no, and no long term like layoffs on this because I, I really want to watch this through to completion with yeah. y'all because you know, I, Nick, I know you you're highly invested in this already and Mike yeah, you've like seen it. this you've seen up until like episode 6 or 7 I believe usually if a show can make me ask questions early on like I would like to know what's up with this then I'll be down to watch all of it to find out I yeah. think I've seen through the enough to understand the cabbages joke <laughs> my that'll cabbages. go through all three, all three seasons <laughs> Yeah, so it, there's that, plenty of cabbage stuff. Yeah, the first, the next so I'm the only one that's blind next, right now. Huh? You'll so. see, you'll see. Next yeah. episode, I think, is the one that <laughs> will do. We'll show you the cabbages. Next episode, we crack okay. it up <clears throat> with the cabbage. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully, you all will stay tuned for that. And if you actually want to see the next episode, you can actually see it right now if you want. If you're that is, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube. Then, uh, yeah, it's actually available right now on our Patreon. You can actually check it out by clicking the link right down below. And also, if you want to uh, help the video out a lot, it helps if you leave a like. If you also want to uh, check out more stuff from us, there's a subscribe button and a bell that you can ring to stay notified. And I guess until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Jacob. Nick. And we will see you all in the next one. Peace out.